Hello, everyone. I'm Professor Toy Box. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm so glad you're back. Has it really been two days? Then we've got some catching up to do. Yes, we do. Last time we built Arendelle Castle, and since then I blocked in the area where I think the bay is going to go. Am I going to see more of your building talent today? Because last time I was pretty impressed. <laughs> well, thanks. Yes,、uh, today we're going to work on the town and the docks along the bay. Yes. <laughs> Here's some screenshots of this area from the Frozen movie. This is the best shot, I think, because it shows everything I want to build today, where it's all positioned and how it's all spaced. And here are a few additional shots that show specific parts of this area at different times during the movie. I think that'll help us fill in some of the small details as we go. So the first thing I want to do, I think, as we start this part of the build, is we're going to work on the area here around the perimeter. Of the town and the docks, and we're going to go ahead and frame this in, and that'll help、uh, tell us where everything's going to go. And again, I'm kind of following a design that I drew up for this already, and just to make sure everything fits where it's got to go. There's so much here to do that it's real easy to、uh, mess this up if I don't. So for the base of the town here, along the docks, we're using the same castle structure there, and then for the rest of this, just like we used for the castle floor last time, we're going to come into these blocks and we're going to use the castle brick texture again, because that seems to work really well here in town as well. And that'll be the stairs coming up from the dock to the、uh, area where the passengers get greeted. And that should frame in that part of the town. So now we'll come down here and kind of fill in some of the external details here a little bit.、And、scroll back over here to the blocks at the beginning, and even though this doesn't quite match the rest of the brick there, that's okay. It's going to be covered up by docks anyhow. This is the only area where we're going to. Find the brick doesn't quite match what we want to see, and as we go along, you'll see it's going to look a little out of place. But I don't think it'll be too bad. The only time you're really going to see that is when you're over at the castle or running along the bay here. But hopefully, the activities in the game will keep you busy so that you won't be noticing that too much. So now we've kind of got that exterior、uh, walls framed in for the foundation of the town. Now I'm going to come up here and fill in the town area, and this is a little tricky because I could place this here, but then it's a little bit、uh, too narrow here. The, this is only two blocks wide, and so there's <laughs> a number of ways we could do this. I'm going to try to do this in such a way that I can minimize. Uh, the number of smaller blocks that I gotta put in, and that works out pretty well there. And I'm gonna leave a gap there. And now here I could actually. Move this over a little bit. I kind of like when things line up, but on the other hand,、um, whenever we can save blocks, makes sense. And hopefully, the player will be so busy in here, with, and there'll be enough other details that they won't be able to notice that the floors are not laid out in a perfect grid. Again, I want to try to minimize the. Number of smaller little 
square pieces here. And I think we'll be able to get away with it there. I'm not quite sure how much of this I'm going to need just yet. I want to make the town as close as I can to the uh, movie, but on the other hand, we may not be able to make it the same size. We might have to make it a little smaller just to save on memory for the actual games and the festival activities that I want to put into this toy box. There we go. That's probably a I think enough for our purposes here. And is there anything more I want to put down this way? Yeah, maybe one more row here. There, we'll call that good for now. Okay, so now we've got the uh, base of the town kind of coming together. And we'll fill in the last little pieces here. Oops. <laughs> Trying to go quick so I don't waste a lot of time. And then I end up making mistakes. That's enough for there. Okay, and then I left a gap over here specifically because this is where the um, visitor center greeting area kind of is. And we're going to change the floor texture here. And I'm going to make this the wood texture back over here. And this will match the structure we're going to build on top of this. There we go. And the structure I need for that is up here in Building Sets Group 4. And I think this will work pretty well here. Because it's kind of an open area with uh, beams. And you can see through it. And now the roof... I haven't found anything that really fits the roof exactly. The closest thing I found was this long roof from the pirate set. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any snow on it, but I think it'll look okay compared to some of the all alternatives that I experimented with. And while we're in this drawer, let's go ahead and fill in the dock down along the bottom here. So I want to come over here and line this up. This, of course, is the area where uh, Anna met Hans. Seriously? Yeah. Why would you do that? So we can replicate it as closely as possible. Ugh! So we'll put the dock along here and we'll put some ships in in a little bit. I'll fill in these gaps in a minute. I'm trying to use the piece here that's too wide, two blocks wide, so that I can uh, save on some memory by having fewer pieces in there. And the last little part we'll put in along this part of the dock will be the area here where Anna fell into the boat. Hey! Well, that's just mean. There we go. That's where uh, she met Hans. Lucky me. So that's kind of a fun little area to build and remember. That's just mean. Okay, and then we're going to build two docks coming out. And these will be eight blocks wide here. Oops, that other one. That's six, that's seven, and that should be eight. Yep. And the next one is going to line up over here. Uh, 
Just counting down the number of blocks that lines up with the edge of this block. This stone block here. And that should give us enough room to park a couple of ships in here. There we go. So now the docks are starting to come and come together. Oh, we need one more over here on the end of this. And that should do it. Okay. That's looking pretty good. And while we're in this drawer, the other part that I need is the railing here. And I'm going to use these uh, farm stone wall pieces here for this railing. The ones we used last time over at the castle have a little bit of moss between them and they just don't look quite as good sitting here in town. These unfortunately don't line up right with the uh, right with the edge of the thing here. They leave a little bit of a gap but there's not really any way around that. There we go. And I kind of prefer these here. Of course, if you're making this in your own toy box, you can use whichever ones you want. Okay, so there we go. Now we've kind of framed out the edge of that. Now let's go ahead and put down some of the buildings here in town and we'll find those back up under building sets group 7. And for the buildings, the ones in the picture uh, from the movie, they're actually very tall and narrow and we don't have anything quite like that. Uh, you could use the fantasy buildings here in building sets group 4 and try to use some of the narrower pieces here and stack them up to try to build something really tall and narrow. I've done that in the past with another toy box that I built for Arendelle. wasn't really happy with it. Um, I think I'm going to use the frozen buildings here, even though they're a little bit shorter. I think it's going to look better, um, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and see how this works out. And just so we don't have the same building each time, we'll go ahead and alternate these a little bit. Spin them around a little and try to make this a little bit different. And then the other side of this will line up with the edge of this block here from what I saw. So that should be about right. I think I'd like that little upper window showing there. And of course you can flip these around if you want. don't have to alternate them too much. You can, uh, as long as they don't look identical, I think that should be okay. And flip one around just to kind of make things a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to build a little street back here. I uh, might do something like that just to kind of keep the roofs a little bit different. Here we go. And we'll come around the perimeter of the dock here. And try to get these to line up a little bit. Unfortunately, again, you can see on these pieces too, there's a bit of a gap between the edge of the building and the bounding box around it. So unfortunately, these aren't going to line up right next to each other. There's a bit of a gap. Nothing I can really do about that. So we have to just kind of do the best we can here.
There we go. And I think we'll stick another one back over here. Just kind of fill that area in a little bit. And build a little street here. And I don't know how many of these buildings I'm going to be able to put in here. Memory's still kind of low, but there's still a lot I need to build here yet. One of the advantages, though, of limiting it to just these buildings is that um, we keep the number of models that we're bringing into the toy box kind of low. The more variety of things you bring in, the more memory that seems to take up. So by repeating the same two buildings and rotating them around, that seems to help keep the memory down a tad. And anything we can do to do that is a, a good thing. Okay, so now the town's starting to take shape. I like how that's starting to look. Looks a bit like the movie. Now we'll go ahead and put in some more of the little details here. And I'm going to start with some of these flags. So we'll put uh, first ones down over here. Make sure those face the same directions as the ones on the bridge so it's consistent. And now in the picture, there's kind of a division, little island sort of thing down the street here um, where people walk on both sides of this. So we're going to go ahead and put these in like so. And there's a flag and there's a... Uh, tree actually. So I'm going to come over to the plants drawer and I think this is the tree we want to use. And I think I got the spacing of this right. We'll find out as I go along and build this row if it ends up where it's supposed to. Let's see here. There it is. Okay. And kind of twist it around a little bit. So there's two trees and then a flag. Let's see, is that flag in the right place? It is not. It needs to be there. So we're going to space these out a little bit differently. That should go right there. That should go right there means that one goes there, and another one goes there. And then we need one over here. And then there's another flag. And again, we need to rotate that so it faces the same way as the others, so the wind's blowing the same direction. So there we go, the town square is kind of coming together. Now in the movie, there is a railing, a chain railing, around the edge of this. And it's black, but all we have is the white one from the Disneyland uh, pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in. And unfortunately, I can't line this up there. But if we put it like this, I don't think people are likely to notice the gap. At least when I've been playing in here, I haven't noticed it. So that's a good thing. Oop. <laughs> it's going a lot further than I wanted it to. And I don't know that that goes all the way down around... Uh, the corner here. Oop, I forgot some uh, brick. Let me come back over here and put that in. So 
We'll change this back over to the castle brick. Whoops, not the grass. Went a little too far. There we go. And I might fill in another extra block there a little bit later. So there we go. The docks are coming along nice. The town square is looking really good. Uh, oh, I forgot one flag. There's another flag that you see in the movie, and it's right about here. So I want to make sure we get that in place. And that's halfway between here and the edge of the buildings. Okay, looking good. All right, let's go ahead and put in a couple of the ships. And I know it looks like I'm just kind of building this on the fly and it's coming together nicely, but I actually <laughs> have built this several times in the past and redesigned it a little bit again this time before I ever shot this video. So uh, I kind of already know what it is I want to build and how everything's all spaced out. And as I said, I got it all laid out on paper. So um, there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think that looks a lot like the movie. Things are spaced out about right. And uh, we got our frozen ships docked here. Yeah, I like how this is looking. Very good. We put in a couple of more finishing touches here and I think we'll call it a day. Oh, there's a uh, wagon that you sometimes see parked here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in like that. I'd like a wagon that didn't have a cover on it, but I'm kind of limited to what you can work with. And the other thing I thought would be really nice is to have Sven here waiting for you. So when you come into this toy box, you can hop on him and uh, take off. And I'm gonna drop two of him case there's two players. There's one for each player. And while I'm thinking of it, let me go ahead and pick this up out of the bay here from where we left it last time. And I'm going to bring it in here and stick it in town. We'll put it right across from uh, the visitor center there. And that way when you come into town, It'll be right here near the reindeer, and with a, you'll have a great view of the castle. And this will kind of be centrally located to all of the festival activities and the different games that we're going to be able to play. So that looks really good, I think. you got the castle in the distance and the entrance to the bay. Uh, I haven't done the far side of that yet. I may do that offline, or we may build that next time. I'm not quite sure yet. And, uh, yeah, this is looking nice. I like this. Wait until I tell Olaf about this place. He would love it here. I'm sure he will. We'll see him next time. Meanwhile, go ahead and subscribe to my channel or sign up on my blog to see what we do next in this series. You can find build tips and logic diagrams for the different toy boxes and challenges that we make on my blog as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.